Now here we'll take a look at how to connect this wire that we get. So this one is for the voltage telemetry. It is actually quite straightforward. So first I'll switch off the ESC. And so here we have two leads. One is negative and one is positive. And this is supposed to be connected on the balance port of the LiPo battery. So the red one will be connected to the red wire. And obviously the black one will be connected on the black. So basically we can read the overall voltage of the battery that we're using. Not sure how safe this connection will be. Instead, Ralalo could offer the 3S male adapter for the voltage telemetry wire, which will definitely be a better option rather than having to connect it like this. But nevertheless, so this port will be connected on the receiver. And this will basically go one way. You cannot insert this or plug it in incorrectly. So once this is plugged in, we can now get the voltage reading on the radio transmitter. So let's see. And indeed we have it, so 11.6 volts. Now this telemetry is only possible up to 50 meters, so as long as the vehicle and the radio are in range of 50 meters. You can have the telemetry readings like the voltage and the signal strength. However, the claimed range of this radio is somewhere around 300 meters. So even if you go past 50 meters, you can still control the vehicle and there's not a problem. It's just that you won't have the telemetry. So it's quite handy to be honest. So here I've charged the 3S battery all the way. So this voltage telemetry could be helpful to track the voltage of the battery pack. So let's say if you're using a 3S battery and once the battery is past a certain level, you can stop running the truck to avoid depleting the battery completely. So for a 3S battery, I would stop at about 10.6 or 10.5 volts where the individual cell would be at around 3.5 volts or so. Now, although I have a 4S ESC in this, let's see if we can connect a 4S battery and get the voltage telemetry as well. Let's have a look. I have this Bonka RC 1000mH battery for now. Although it's a bit small, it's quite powerful. I use it for my FPV quad. And it seems to work all right. We have 16.8 volts. That is how you set up the voltage telemetry on the Rolalo Omni Terminator with the CD6A radio transmitter. If you do decide to use this all the time, then route this wire through the receiver box and then install the cover. Although I wouldn't use this all the time because, because whenever you're bashing the truck, these wires could get loose, get caught up in the drive shaft or in the motor fan. So use the telemetry wire wisely and use it. Or you could zip tie this somewhere and or like I said before, use a male adapter for the balance port on the LiPo battery. So if it's a 3S, use a 3S adapter and use that. So that is how you set up the voltage telemetry feature on the Omni Terminator. 
I hope you found this video informative and helpful as always. So please do like this video as well. In the upcoming video, I have something special and different. In the next video, I'll be unboxing a different model and I'm quite excited for that. So stay tuned for that video. And until then, thanks a lot for watching.